President Nangagwa yesterday said government was ready to deal with threats of violence made at the weekend by Citizens Coalition for Change CCC, leader Nelson Chamisa. On Sunday Mr Chamisa said he would unleash an orgy of violence should he fail to win the 2023 harmonized elections. The West-sponsored opposition leader also told his supporters that he will invite erstwhile colonizers back in the country within a few days of him assuming power. Addressing thousands of youths gathered at Robert Gabriel Square to commemorate the National Youth Day, President Nangagwa said government is ready to deal with such threats which he said were counterproductive coming from a person aspiring to lead the country. Ndakashaya Kudis Vino Nai Vedui Kana Mai Vacho Vinodi Ndakabarake. Zvanzi Nachamisa Nizuro Kana Ndakasawina Malekshan Ziga Rinuia Tanoida Maremhir, Babangu Shumba. Zvino Wagona Kutora Kudi Acheta Maremhir to Gadzarira, I ask myself what even does his mother say about him. Chamisa said if I do not win next year's elections I will cause violence. Since you have said you will unleash violence we are ready to deal with that. Dot President Nangagwa said he was equally stunned when Mr. Chamisa said he will invite back whites in the country once he assumed power. My heart bled yesterday when I heard Chamisa saying, if I become president in five days, this country will be littered with whites. I have said repeatedly, that Zimbabwe is built by Zimbabweans, just as Zambia is built by its own citizens, so is Botswana, Malawi, Britain, United States, China or Russia. Chamisa Anota Kudi Nika Ivik Wanevarungu. Spoda, Chamisa you want your country to be built by whites, be ashamed of yourself, said President Nangagwa. He said Zimbabwe was liberated by those who removed the very white people that Mr. Chamisa wants back in Zimbabwe as masters. President Nangagwa implored Zimbabweans to reject opposition political parties bent on making the country a servile state of Western countries by inviting back former colonizers. On your part, I urge you to reject those who want to make our country puppets of other jurisdictions. The onus is on you our young people to defend, protect and guard the independence of our great country. While the young people of yesteryear used the gun to bring about independence and sovereignty, today you only have to use your vote to defend our great country," he said. Therefore use your vote wisely, conscious that this very right to vote was paid for by the blood of many young sons and daughters of our great country. Together with us your leadership, we shall continue to build the Zimbabwe we all want. We are a diverse people, but one nation. There is no room for hate speech, Zimbabwe is a unitary state. Those who dream to divide this country should wake up in their dreams. There is no room for tribalism, regionalism, hate or violence. Your responsibility as youth is to remain patriotic, he said. Just to be